why is it that when you look at the mental health stats, if you look at rates of depression, anxiety, self-harm, and suicide, they're pretty flat in the early 2000s. And then right at 2012, for girls, it goes way, way up. It goes up for boys too, but not as much. Something happened right around 2012. Well, let's see. The, uh, the first uh, front-facing camera comes out, the iPhone 4 in 2010. Instagram is founded. All, uh, everyone goes on Instagram in 2012. Um, so at least the social media fits the bill. But what I think people really need to understand is it's not just kids going on social media. It's the complete rewiring of childhood so that kids used to be out having experiences. That's what you need to grow up. It's what you need to yes. wire your brain up. And then they hit puberty, which is actually a period of heightened brain plasticity. Our brains are really open to experience uh, uh, when we're zero to two. Mm -hmm. And then it's a little less. And then right around age 11 or 12, the brain is almost looking for more input from the environment. And that's exactly the age at which we say to girls, here you go, why don't you hook your brain up to a fire hose of garbage, and then we'll see how you are on the other side. So yes, uh, we're really, what was your word, fucked up? Fucked up, <laughs> fucking the kids' brains up. So your kids are what, eight and nine? Eight and nine, say? yeah. Okay, so they're still in ele elementary school. Yeah. When they go to middle school, my kids go to New York City public schools. They, as soon as they hit sixth grade, they say, Dad, everybody is on Instagram. Can I have an Instagram account? We're all faced with this trap. No parent wants their kids on Instagram. Right. Um, but we're all faced with this trap because the other kids are on. It's the, it's the, it's the, we don't want our kids to be excluded because that is where things are happening. So this is what's called in social science is a collective action problem. Each one of us might even be even worse off if we take our kid off and everyone else is on, but we'd all be better off if everything was off. So what we need to do as a starting move, and this is something we can all do, get the phones and social media the hell out of middle school. Let's just protect middle school. Okay, and so, yeah, so if, you're, if, you're, if you're watching this, if you're watching this at home, talk to the principal of your parents' middle school and say, can you help us? Because believe me, I've spoken at middle schools, they hate this too. Mm. So, so as a starting move, just have, have the norm be uh, no phones in school. You, when you come to school, put them in a phone locker or a, or a yonder pouch. The kids must not have access to their phones in school. Usually the policy is, well, you know, we don't let them take them out. Like, yeah, you know, tell heroin addicts, you can just, just leave in your pocket, don't shoot up. Just leave in your pocket all day. So we have to, so we have to, we, so we have to get it out of middle school, and we also have to keep the kids off of social media until at least high school. I think the age needs to be 16, after the brain is mostly developed, but we've got to get it out of middle school. But the